Did you guys see that? Did you see how quick I switched over? <laughs> Welcome to my channel. Hey, this is Juanita. Oh my gosh. Um, if you're new to my channel, this is all about a percola makeover, a yard renovation. Um, it's not on this percola. If you do want to know more information on this percola and want to see a video how this space got created, Leave it on the comments below and I will create a video on that. But today, I'm gonna take you guys shopping for plants. If you've been following my channel, I created two planter boxes and now I have completed the outer shell of it and you get to see it today. Uh, I also added something to my pergola. I wanna see if you guys notice it. If you do notice it, leave it in the comments below and I will explain the details about why that was created uh, when I do the actual the decorating of my pergola. So I'm really excited, you guys. I've got one video and f after this video to uh, pin up for you guys to see, and then we're gonna work on decorating it. Well, I'm gonna be decorating, you're gonna be watching, but um, I feel like we've been doing this together. So. Uh, yeah, and I'm, you know, that being said, you guys, thank you, thank you guys for subscribing and supporting my channel and uh, just your love and support. So with that said, let's go shopping. Let's go shopping for plants. Let's see if there's any plants there to shop for. Oh, and I also have to get some dirt. So I almost forgot about that. <laughs> um, you can't plant plants without the dirt. So yeah, we're going to get dirt. And we're going to get plants, so see you guys in the car. Okay, you guys, let's go shopping. So the two things we need to get, and I'm bringing my husband with me. We can uh, pick the dirt out. And so I also have his opinion um, as far as how he feels, what the dirt feels like. And, uh, you know, just just those things. construction going on and just got to weather through that. So we're here and we have a lot of options. So this is that soil plan that has sand in it. Yeah, I thought you would and, like this. Uh, um, that's a uh, screen dirt. It's just dirt though. And this is a two-way but it doesn't really say. It must have sand and just regular dirt rocks in it yeah i like this soil blend and i really like the composting i mean this is really dry it's been here for a long time but uh the actual soil that's out there feels really good half of that and half of the composting and then that way i can mix those yes we can do half a yard of the blend soil and half a yard compost. that'd be great and okay so i got half blended soil which has just a little bit of sand and chicken manure in it and half compost. And having a little bit of sand is also a good idea. Which <laughs> That way? Okay. What way does he... I guess he can. sign. It's like... <laughs> that was and hard. I'll be careful. <laughs> Sorry for you guys. It just... <laughs> the, the flagman was... Uh, kind of talking and trying to direct us at the same time and it was really really difficult for him and a little confusing for us but uh, we managed so now um, I'm gonna go to one of my favorite uh, plant shops and uh, see what kind of plants we can get 
I did purchase already the star jasmine and some clematis, um, but I also need to um, get like um, I don't know. There's a little a little area right next to the white planner that I need to add some plants there. I did buy a plant, <laughs> but I, I just been so busy that it just didn't make it. Yeah, so let's see what I find and go from there. So here is um, Maribel. This nursery here is really great. Um, I, I really like it. It's, it's one that I forget about all the time. Uh, but uh, yeah, they're really, really great. They got well, we have to sanitize our cards, it looks like. And we also have to wear a mask because we are still under the COVID-19. We're doing good, thank you. Let me, I'm gonna turn you guys around and show you guys a little bit of what's going on here. There's some beautiful stuff here, as you can even see from my background. And this is beautiful. Isn't this beautiful, Brad? Yeah, I saw that, that is beautiful. Wow, the flowers, the flowers feel well right here feels like really hard wax and gorgeous it's expensive at 40 bucks but it's beautiful that is i wonder if it's uh, an annual or not oh i'll have to come back and look at that and then we have some succulents i i thought of doing some succulents on that water drainage this it's just so delicate and beautiful This is beautiful. Right. This is obviously more shaded area. And I love this, uh, this grass. I plant a lot of this grass, uh, you know, in that one little spot. Maybe do some kind of uh, party type of grass that grows the chickens like the grass, don't they? They do, but I haven't seen them peck on this. Okay. Um, Remember we had some kind of plants like this all in the front of the pergola? Yeah. And they, they all got haircuts. Exactly. Two cuts. These are beautiful, this little, little baskets. Uh, look around and see what I've come up with. I love this echinacea over here. Um, that is uh, right here. I love that. I do intend to buy some of that and add that for this fall. But right now I need to concentrate on just my pergola and get that completed. And then I can always come back and go shopping. Here's some upright fuchsias and these are for baskets, but another one that's the same color right here golden this are gallon mix variety i love this we'll take them and we'll ask them if they're perennials if they're hardy i'll take these what do you think For i think they're good i think the chickens will love them <laughs> they're not picking on the fuchsia that's in the side yard though what is that that's growing off to the side that they jump up on uh, near the uh, banana plant? Oh, maybe they'll lose interest. Maybe I could do this on each side. It's worth a shot if you want. You like them. Yeah, I like them. Here. And it's under diffused light, so it just needs afternoon shade, and we, we get that in the backyard. So. so this is everything we bought today. Some Japanese grass and some columbine some fuchsias baby's breath the most expensive item in this whole cart was this the creeping time that one broke our bank and then we've got and the pomegranate that was pretty expensive otherwise they were all fairly uh inexpensive 
Okay, guys, I had to, I had to put on my air conditioning hat on because the my other hat, even though it's great, uh, it's it's still pretty warm. And I kind of waited for the sun to come down a little bit, but uh, I've laid everything out. But before I get started, let me introduce you guys to my planner boxes. Oh my God, I am so excited about them. I love them. Uh, the reason why I chose corrugated metal is because it reflects the light. So when solar lighting come on, it will reflect more light into the yard. Now, not only will it reflect light to my yard, but when I'm in there, as you can see the backdrop over there, and I'll bring you a little closer to uh, telling you more about that. But for now, in the other side, there's also the corrugated metal on the other side of uh, these boxes. So, and so in the inside of my pergola here, it'll reflect all the lights from up above and it'll reflect it all inside the pergola. And it allows me a little bit more light. So if you're ever thinking of doing a patio, think about doing something like that. Not only is that reflective, but as uh, corrugated metal um, ages, it just adds a new art element to uh, the boxes. So I'm excited to see the aging process and see how well it does with the lights. But that was the whole purpose uh, for doing the corrugated metal. So just a tip, <laughs> my chickens are eating my new plants. So, and right here, this is this will also reflect the light. Now, I still need to add a board to the top of this and to the bottom of this so that it is not sharp. Now the purpose for adding that hole in between is because, and I have to give this to my son and give him a big shout out because he's the one who really actually thought of this. Uh, because I do have like a kitchenette in my basement. So when you come up with the dish, you can just hand it through there and I have to get up the stairs and around. So that'll serve double purpose. Eventually I will do a bench in front of it um, so that it adds to additional seating. And the reason for making my bent, my planter boxes at um, 20, I think it's 20 or 21 inches in height, is because if you have guests over, it also adds as an additional seating. So that was the whole purpose for that in height. That was also the reason doing this at this height. Now, I don't particularly like this height on this planner, but again, if you have guests, you have an additional sitting area. So everything that I have planted underneath this pergola is to serve multi-purposes uh, when you have guests. And I come from an extremely large family. Not all of us live here in Oregon, and I have a lot of friends. So um, when guests come over for barbecue and stuff, there's no issues with uh, additional seating. So that's the whole purpose for that. So now I'm gonna get to my plants. I did go a little bit over and pointed out uh, my plants, so uh, I will go over that again. And I'm hoping I have enough dirt. If I don't, I will have to go and grab some more dirt and complete it. This is the plant that I chose to do. Why don't I go ahead and put the dirt in? I'm gonna just do one uh, planter box so that you guys can see the completion of that so that I can at least post that much. And uh, cause I'm afraid that I'm not gonna have enough dirt. And my dirt that I ordered is coming on Monday. Uh, we are on a Saturday right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Now there's one other thing that I did. Those of you who have been following me, uh, you saw that I, I protected my wood inside as well as outside with a patina that was a one-time application of sealing of the wood. I trust in that. However, this whole structure here, if those rot, then it's going to bring everything down and that is going to defeat the purpose of everything so what i did is i ripped a uh, trash 
bag in half and then I just tied it with uh, yard wire. So yeah, I just did it for additional protection because I've never done anything like this before. I've, and if you have done something like this, please leave it in the comments below. But this is what I thought that I would take that edit measure. Now I'm pretty confident that that sealer worked, but you just never know. And we are talking about a big structure. I don't want it to come down. So let's see. The other thing is that I'm not gonna add any weed screening material down in the bottom. All I'm gonna do is add the gravel that I have in my yard. I'm just adding some of that into the boxes because I really, I really don't get any weeds back here. I don't know why, but I don't. Uh, maybe it's just one gravel pit. I don't know, but uh, what weeds I get, and I was gonna keep one or two that, that came up recently, but I ended up pulling them out accidentally and, and that was done. But I, I rarely, rarely, I rarely, rarely get any kind of weeds. Uh, so I didn't find it necessary to uh, do any added measures as far as weed protectors for these planters. So with that said, I'm gonna get busy so that you guys can at least see the finished product on this one. So the trick is getting the dirt from there to there to a point where I can actually get it. You guys have to see this dirt. This dirt has actually so a little, looks like it's got a little bit of peat moth in it. Uh, little, I don't know what these are. They're just like little rocks. And, uh, and then just really good rich dirt. And the dirt that I picked is very similar to this. Oh my child, I know You heard and you can't let go It's not your fault Your time. How much 
So this fuchsia here, I'm going to place right there. I think it's beautiful. It'll get the right sun. Now I do need to go back and get a little bit of dirt, but and then I will finish it up. He just got me some potting soil, regular potting soil. So I'm just gonna mix that with this and get these planted for this part. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to be doing some fish fertilizer, uh, adding that to my water, mixing it so that I can plant my plants, and that'll help establish Okay, so I've got about that much water with that. Uh, I would say about three tablespoons of water. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plant this fuchsia so it cascades because it's going to get fairly large so it'll fill out this space and it'll get in this area. I'm going to be adding uh, just a little bit of water into the hole so it'll establish the roots. I'm gonna break this part a little bit and I'm gonna put it right there. And this will get way over here at the dirt. So that's at a really good height. And uh, it's in really good height over here. I'm gonna add a little bit of dirt over to this side now i am crunching it i am crunching it to this wall is so that it can cascade over so there's that one i've got my hole here And this is already in bloom. I don't know if you guys can see that little tiny flower. So, so the jasmine that's right back here on this screen that I have growing, that one is already completed as far as uh, blooming. So we'll see what this one does because it is still blooming. I'm gonna, I'm gonna plant it really close to this here. So again, I'm gonna add some water to, to that. And I'm 
gonna compress it a little bit. Next, I think I'll do my columbine. Take those dead leaves off. My father always used to tell me to remove any dead leaves and stuff away from the plant. It, it the energy goes to the live plants and not the, the dead leaves. So. to leave some space here in front of the jasmine because it will get a little fuller so we'll see what happens through the rest of this year so i will do the columbine fairly close to it but not crowd it a little bit of water on this a little bit And this will get a good size as well. So, so now I will add this right in this other side because this will allow uh, room for this to grow. And then I will put this one right over here and uh, it'll allow this to have room. Add some water to it. <laughs> A lot of blooms that are coming up so i'm excited to see what it does that'll look really nice right there
Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my hair. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my hair. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go. Okay, you guys, I know I said I was only going to do this one, got a little carried away, but uh, everything's done, and so I'm really, really happy with it, and uh, now I'm just going to feed the chickens and uh, be done for the night. It is getting dark, so if you like this video, give me a like, subscribe, and uh, don't forget to hit the notification button so you catch me on all my videos, and more importantly, get up get out and get active doesn't matter what it is that you do you don't have to do what I'm doing um, but maybe you can find something in your life that you can be creative and uh, and hopefully I've inspired you in one way or another Mwah. love you guys thank you for watching you guys ready for your treats come on let's go get your treats Michael's is already running let's
before I leave, I will um, kind of give a, a tour of this, of everything that I accomplished at the end of this. So again, thank you for watching. I will see you guys on my next video.